ultrasound study of a female with positive pregnancy test, a severe pain in both flanks uh, for the last period. Well, you were really not coming up on the Okay, for the last 10 years, uh, 10 days, she has been admitted in the hospital uh, for a few days. Multiple ultrasound have been performed and uh, nothing uh, has been depicted from it. Now, in my ultrasound, I see that this is the uterus in transfer section and it measures 5.5 centimeters in this direction. This central equogenic linear area is the endometrial canal. Myometrium is clear, there is fluid posterior to the uh, uterus in transfer section. This is all fluid uh, posterior to the uh, uterus. This is the fluid, this area, and this is the uterus in transfer section. Now this is the longitudinal yes. section of the uterus, uh, measuring, excuse me, measuring 9.1 centimeter by 5.3 centimeter. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section, small amounts of fluid seen. There is no evidence of any uh, gestational sac within the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. There is no history of spotting as well. This is the endometrial canal, clear of any clot or RPOCs or gestational sac. Now, in transfer section, uh, see this is the ovary. <coughs> Let's see the to show you the ovary. This is the right ovary. This is and you can see follicles developing within it, measuring 2.7 by 2.4 centimeter, and these areas are representative of follicles. This is all fluid. Uh, and fluid is seen in the post, in the peritoneum. Uh, sorry, this is the fluid in the pelvic cavity. This is the fluid in the adnexa, and this extends into the. Uh, now I am in the region of the uh, right adnexa. From right adnexa, it moves up to the uh, paracolic gutter, right paracolic gutter, and as well as the. Uh, now this is the left paracolic gutter and you can see fluid in this region as well with the floating power loops. But I wish to show you that there is an irregularly outlined coarse equogenic area seen within this loculated fluid measuring approximately uh, 3.1 centimeter by 2.1 centimeter and it is locked by uh, <coughs> and uh, this, uh, by the <coughs> mesentery and the uh, another important important thing is to see that it lies aside the uh, in the region of the right adnexa aside the uterus this is the uterus and you see this is the uterus this is the fundus of the uterus and here is the area. When I move the probe towards the uh, uh, right side, I see the. This is the uterus. This is the urinary bladder. This area. This is the uterus. This is the fluid in the right uh, adnexa. And within that fluid, this coarse ecogenic, densely ecogenic. Uh, area fixed with the posterior wall and uh, when I apply the color box I see you see there is it shows blood flow within it both arterial as well as uh, uh, venous and uh, it's most probably suggestive of This is the arteria and this is the venous.
let's go to the Venus side. Now, this is the Venus. So, this ecogenic area is not uh, simple, it has blood flow within it and is surrounded by fluid that contains uh, debris as well as thick and thin septa. This is a septa. These are all linear thread-like structures of the septa, septated fluid in this region of the right and the next are once again showing you uh, the uh, vascularity uh, of this ecogenic uh, area. So this is the actually, so this is actually a case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy uh, with this area representing the this area representing the sac. Now, even if this is a fetal pole, there is no cardiac flicker seen. Um, it measures approximately 3.6 uh, centimeters. pregnancy with uh, fluid all over ab the abdominal cavity. This is the fluid. Now this fluid tra uh, traverses into the right paracolic as well as the left paracolic gutter with bubble loops seen floating in it. Now this is the right paracolic gutter and you can see the fluid as well as the bowel section. Same is the case on the left side. Thank you very much.